One of the most common questions that we get asked when we travel to different countries, which we obviously do all the time, if you're new here, you might not know that, <laughs> um, is how much everything costs. So we do a, a cost of living video, but this one's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, we haven't been in Sofia for too long, mm. so we're just going to pretty much show you the costs of our daily experiences from like cafes and yeah. restaurants to supermarkets and gym, gym, coffee, booze, the sort of costs that you can expect. We're standing on the balcony of our Airbnb though, which is... It's a, pretty sweet. It's a great spot. So we'll do a room tour of this place first. 37 US dollars for this whole place. Per night. Per night, yeah. That's pretty good. Let's have a look. All right. So this is a huge space. Yeah. This is bedroom and I guess you'd say lounge. Lounge, yeah. But nice big couch over there, over here. Seriously, one of the most comfortable beds we've ever slept in. Mm. It's so nice. I always point out the huge wardrobe space that we never but, used. No, but this is ridiculous. This is the most wardrobe space we've ever had. I <laughs> can't open it because I knew we were doing a room tour. And, and you put stuff in everything there. Everything in there. Coffee cup, that reminded me. We've got coffee from a local spot just around the road from us. It was three lev. Three? Three lev for a coffee. For a latte. Yep. Just quickly, I know a lot of you guys have heard us mention this before, but we use Airbnbs all over the world. So there's like a referral program. If you sign up with the link in the description below, you'll get 40 US dollars off your first trip. So just use a new email address and then you're sorted. And then we'll get like 10 or $20 towards our next place like this, which then we will film and show you. Room number two is the kitchen, which seriously, I think it's pretty up there for one of our favorite kitchens. I think so, yeah. Because it has nice big workspace for the two of us. It has the first time in like two years. Dishwasher. Oh. Wow. Wow. The amount of time we save not washing dishes. That's more than we need, but $37, it shows you how much yeah. value you can get. Yeah. Before we go and show you the time capsule, aka like floating coffin that is our lift in this the old, world's most in this old building. Yeah, we've got a beautiful apartment and then a scary AF <laughs> lift to get up and down inside of it. Uh, it's expensive here for gyms actually, 15 lev for one session, 30 lev for a one week pass and then I think it's like 50 or 60 for a month so they always scale it up like you've always got that situation. We've just done a one week membership because we're going to Greece in a couple of videos time and we're going to be in the sun and we just want to sort of be a bit healthier, feel good about ourselves, ourselves because traveling, eating, the sort of food that we're going to show today, <laughs> it's not good, it's not good for staying in shape. My favorite part of every day, <laughs> calling the lift from the 1930s. It is so old school. Check this out. Says you're not a big fan of lifts in the first no. place, right? I have an irrational fear of getting like stuck or trapped. It is so old school. It's like a, it looks like a phone box. It looks like a shark cage. <laughs> so you open this big gate. Do you want to go on first? Uh, you go on first. Hi, nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go in as well. Oh god, it's so noisy. And then explain the little hand things. Okay, so once your cage is shut, then you have to bring together these two old school doors. But you have to relax, you have to, you have to hold, them. hold them, otherwise it will stop. Like, wow. You'll be like, bam, and you're in between floors. We learned that the hard way. So then, look how old this all this is as well. So we want to go ground. Ooh. Do it. Show it. I know you hate it. I don't I know want you to do it. it. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, it's staying. Oh, oh there it is. Oh. Oh, man. Now everyone thinks we're lying. And then it stops so abruptly. It does, but you can see. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you can see how old all of it is as I moved around like this. I love about finding uh, Airbnbs to stay in, in like really local neighborhoods. We're walking around now and oh, you're half dark and I'm <laughs> come this way, come this way. Um, it's the local feel because there's no, it's not so touristy. 
It's, it's just what did you peaceful, just say? It's isn't peaceful. It? Like it's just people doing, just living their everyday lives. Yeah, and I mean, that does come with some challenges though, because we just went to go to a restaurant then, and they didn't have an English menu, which is, which is okay. And then we went to another one that did have an English menu, and it was, it was like Italian and stuff, which is probably like we not really what we're looking for I right now. I struggle with like heavy pastas and stuff in the heat. Yeah, as you can see from the sun, I think it's heavy. again it's about 30 degrees today. But I don't know, I just I feel more integrated when we yeah, when we get an Airbnb that's not in the old town or the tourist hub. Feels or more somewhere. authentic, I guess. Yeah, and in theory we should get more local prices as well. But this is obviously quite a, an upscale area, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. with the olive paste and parmesan. Cream cheese and salmon, yeah. So we decided against like a full on restaurant sit down and we have found ourselves like a little it's like a cafe, a little cafe, with, deli ish. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a bakery. They had like big ovens and croissants, and they had brownies and cakes. <laughs> Someone's excited. With that might be that might be on the menu because today is actually our four year anniversary. Oh, um, how sweet! So yeah. we're definitely going to be having some drinks later on for sure. Yeah, um, and brownie. <laughs> All the important things. So the prices for so we got. Uh, do you want to explain what they are? We got two like pretty basic sandwiches. They sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> That's what we call them. Sandwiches. Um, one is pastrami and one is salami and cheese. I think. So they're four four ninety lev each. Drink was one fifty lev. And if we'd gone to more of a restaurant sit down place, I think you're looking at more like it was about eight to twelve lev for a salad. Yep. And then like ten to even up to 30 lev for like a main yeah, 15, 15 to 18 ish is yeah. probably about the right sort of like normal price but we weren't really feeling like pasta and i don't like a salad is not only enough to fill me up no so Dane's not a salad man instead we've gone for the basic sandwich and then we'll no no doubt top it up with a beer but we do need to do some groceries as well so we can show some of those some of those costs also yeah but in the meantime do you want to cheers oh, with we're your, cheersing with our, our food our sandwiches cheers <laughs> There's so many great restaurants and bars and little cafes and everything out uh, out on the cobblestone streets and everything around this area. We don't actually know what this area specifically is. If you are coming um, to Sofia and you do want to know, feel free to comment below and we can include a map or something. But um, I think now before we do anything further, we're going to grab some groceries. People always want to know what the grocery costs are. If you want like the cheapest, the cheapest possible option anywhere that you travel to, is just buying food from the grocery store and just pulling it together yourself. So we're shooting in there. I'll put the put away the big camera. <laughs> Might be better if uh, supermarkets don't really like it when you walk in with an enormous rig. So we'll put this thing away. Get out my phone and I'll snap a couple of uh, shots of some of the basic milk, bread, cereal coffee. sort of coffee stuff. Always coffee. Some essentials, we got some beer. Look at the shape of this, this thing. This is weird. I That's, think we've tried this before in another vlog. It's one litre of beer, and that was uh, two lev. 
for one litre of beer. And we got some chippies. Some chips. Um, they were two fifty. They were two fifty. Yep. And with a couple other quick things that we wanted to include because mm. we've made this about how expensive is Bulgaria. How sorry, Bulgaria, and how expensive <laughs> is Sofia? Four G SIM card, three gigabytes of data, ten lev. Transport, if you want to take a bus, is about one fifty per person. Uh, taxis are like five lev. Anything that's under about ten minutes, about five lev. Yeah. I think that's about. I really think there's much I was more just we thinking, can add. Like, is there anything else? That no, I feel like let us know in the comments below. Is there something that we haven't covered that you would like to know? Because we don't make videos like this often. No. It's normally more about experiences, but we get asked, so we thought let's just do a how expensive it is and try and include as much as we possibly can cram into one video. Hopefully, it's been helpful. If it hmm. has, and you're feeling generous, give it a like or a thumbs up. <laughs> Why not? I never not? say that, but hey. Be crazy. Be crazy. <laughs> Leave a comment, maybe even. What? Wow. A nice comment, please. A nice Thank comment. You. Yeah. Some we've had some hate comments recently. Think yeah. People, you can go away. I think people forget that we're human. <laughs> like we read them, we respond to them. Mm. Yeah. You sort of piss us off a little bit sometimes. Keep it nice. Keep it nice. Thank you to those people that've been following us for a long time as well, because honestly, some of the comments and the support that we get genuinely can make our day. Yeah. Like that's how much we, we enjoy. One on our Insta story the other day. Yeah. Anyway, we're babbling. Sorry. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.